Hey you guys, my name is Sara, and today I wanted to do a video on the few things I wish I would have known about Color Oops before using it in my hair. First of all, if you're not familiar with Color Oops, it is a product that you put in your hair if you made a color mistake. So, let's say you had really, really blonde hair and you wanted to go darker, but it went too dark, you would use Color Oops to take it out of your hair. But, if you bleached your hair blonde and it was dark before, it won't make it go back to brown because it only takes the pigments out of your hair but not bleach. Um, a few things I wish I would have known is first of all how bad it smells. I mean it really does smell awful. Most people say it smells like rotten eggs. To me it smells like nair but ten times it's worse and it also really really sticks to your hair. Another thing is if you apply it make sure you're in an open space because you will get really nauseous. It literally makes you want to barf. So be careful with that. And uh, definitely after you apply it, take your blow dryer and blow dry all of your hair. I did it for the whole 20 minutes because I've heard a lot of people say that it does not work. But I don't, I don't think they added heat to their hair. So heat is definitely necessary for it to work. And it really does work if you apply heat. Um, another thing is make sure you use a very good deep conditioner because it will dry your hair out. It says there's no bleach in it but I wore like a dark t-shirt and the spots that color oops fell on it uh, turned like a yellow color so maybe it's the sulfate, I'm not sure. And um, another thing, the shower time is really important so definitely when you're rinsing color oops stay in the shower for the whole 20 minutes. I use dish detergent in my hair or dish soap because it really strips your hair and that's really what you need and you need to get the whole color oops out of your hair because if you don't then your hair will go back to dark. Another thing I wish I would have known is that if you use, well if you decide to color your hair the same day or within the same week, use a color that's two shades lighter than you want it to be. And definitely make sure you do that because for some reason your hair really absorbs color at that time and it will turn your color very 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 dark. Um, oh yeah, definitely do not leave in the color the full time. Most colors you have to leave in your hair for 25 to 30 minutes. After using color oops, only leave the color in your hair for 5 minutes max because for some reason it really really absorbs color. Another thing is definitely saturate your face, your ears, and the back of your neck with Vaseline because your skin also absorbs color for some reason even more than normal so then you're going to have dye all over your face and that's not cool. Um, overall it's a great product if you use it accordingly and the heat is very important also the rinsing time is also very important and if you do that it will work. And also, whenever you recolor your hair, like I said, make sure 5 minutes and 2 shades lighter. If you have any questions, please let me know. I wish I would have known these things before, and good luck getting that smell out of your hair. It's going to take a few days, but just make sure you use a very strong smelling conditioner, because you're going to need it. But overall, it works, so definitely give it a try if you made a color oops like I did. And good luck!